Hey guys, Alicia from Love Letter Generation. Hope you're all doing well. I'm on here with entry number two for my Pretty in Pink birthday challenge. And before I get on with it and show you what I received from the lovely Jill, I thought I would jump on and share with you one of the wonderful prizes that you can win in my Pretty in Pink birthday challenge. So I ended up finding more of these um, timber and thread pink and gold scissors. And this is one of my favorite um, craft items and you can't get them anymore. So uh, yeah, this is going to be one of the prizes uh, for if you're one of the lucky winners in my challenge giveaway. And yeah, I thought I would include something that I absolutely love. These are my favourite scissors to use with paper crafting. I use these to cut my double-sided tape, my foam tape, my, you know, string twine, ribbon, fussy cutting paper. I pretty much use them for everything and they are such a beautiful pair of scissors so I wanted to share those with you guys so yeah someone will be winning a pair of these beautiful scissors so um, now I will share with you the entry that I received from another fellow Aussie who is Jill or Jillian Ives I will link her YouTube channel down below. So this will be entry number two and it has arrived in this beautiful packaged up parcel. I can't show you underneath because it's got my address, but she's basically done it in some like beautiful um, sort of script writing we've got the beautiful Maggie Holmes paper and then she included gold on it as well so all I've done is actually using my favorite pair of scissors I just end up um, getting the tape off in preparation so I haven't seen what's inside I just got my cup of tea here as well so I also have to be careful of that not to spill it and it might get a little bit stuck because I haven't opened it yet so let's see how well I did with my tape <laughs> and there we go we have a gorgeous oh, shred the colors are so pretty so we'll just take that off how pretty are these colours? So Jill is entry number two. How pretty is that? I loved how she's used like one of the Dear Lizzie embellishments here and she's added a little rhinestone. She's used a little bit of um, carousel, which again, gorgeous colours. Like pink, yellow, black and white are a perfect combo. And then she's got something in here, which could possibly be a handmade birthday card. Oh, wow. Oh, it is. How cute. And then, oh, there's some extra goodies in here. Give me a sec. I'll just see what all this is. Oh, lots of fun confetti. We have a birthday cake die cut in there. We have some fun balloons. This cute little it's a party, grab your friends, and it's got like holographic. So pretty. So those of you that are wanting to enter, I'll leave the original link down below. And you still have a whole month to enter if you're wanting to, because 
This challenge doesn't end until the end of July. How gorgeous is this card? I love all the colours that she has used. Handmade. I won't... Um, I'll read this off camera. She's got a message inside for me. But that is so pretty. And I'm loving all this fun confetti that she has like made herself just by punching out all kinds of bits and pieces and a beautiful array of color in there so I'm going to keep those lots of little like stars and hearts aren't they pretty all right so I might have to take maybe some things out at a time so I believe oh where to start okay there's this beautiful giant tassel in here look at that Havana tassels big pink one I have seen these in spotlight <laughs> Thank you for that, Jill. That's a nice extra goodie. Um, I don't want to wreck anything. I'm just trying to be really careful. Oh, I see some really fun things in here. Oh, this is so gorgeous, Jill. Oh my gosh, she's made me the cutest little backpack. So I am just going to take a few things out, pop them aside, and then go through each thing that I can see in detail. Oh, she's made a fun tag flip. Look at all the pink. How amazing. I love that she's made one of these cute little backpacks in um acetate like the pink myla acetate oh sorry i'm just um having some of my cup of tea <laughs> before it goes cold all right i'll just move some of these things off to the side so we'll be able to see everything Okay, so in the package were these cute little tickets. I'm not too sure where these came from, but they are so cute. Got hooray. And she's popped them in a little bag and decorated the package, which is really cute. they got gold foiling on them, which is really nice. And then was this, oh wow, I think she's done a whole heap of wire wrapped beads for me. In this cute little pink container. Let's have a look. Oh, these are cute. I haven't seen these before. Oh, she's look at that. She's popped it onto a pink safety pin and made her own little, like, brooch. Isn't that a good idea? And then she has gifted me one as well, so I can make one myself if I want to. We'll just use this bead. And then in here... She has done a whole heap of pretty pink wire wrapped beads. Wow. Look at all these pretties. And this really saves me time because I don't, I just don't have the time to sit down and wire wrap beads. It's very time consuming. So I appreciate all the effort that goes into creating these. 
So all kinds of pretty wire ripped beads in there. They are stunning. And they're all pink. Gosh, she has been busy. Pink, gold. Oh, there's some little tiny ones. There's some big ones. There's even some cute things that she's created using, like she's even put some like buttons on some jump rings. How cute. So you could dangle them off projects. That's adorable. Thank you for those. <laughs> Sorry guys, you can hear Bo at the moment. He can see a cat outside and he always wants to go out and, and play and he can't because he'll run away and I don't think the cat wants to play with him as well <laughs> so you'll hear him sooking all right let's have a look I'll just move this to the side have a look at this gorgeous backpack how cute. She's got the little pink straps, gold foiling, little pink brads, the pink Myla acetate. It's just gone a little bit wonky because of how full this is. She has um, jam-packed something into this, but otherwise it would be, look at this, so cute. Just try and show you guys. How adorable this is. That is so cute. And look at the big, I have a feeling this might be a pokey stick inside or something like that that she's tucked in the side of the bag here. What a fun way of packaging it up. So pretty and I love this gorgeous paper from Sunny Days and she's used a cute little uh, velcro dot to enclose it oh I see some fun glasses this is jam-packed with embellishments by the looks of it oh this is adorable Jill <gasps> This, oh, it's a little spoon. There are so many, oh my gosh, cute little things in here. And look at all the little 3D projects. Oh my gosh. Lots of points for Jill. <laughs> There's so many embellishments and 3D projects, which get, get you a really good amount of points. So this let alone is just like three points just for making this cute little backpack. And I've been keeping a book and writing down everything that, um, that I'm receiving and, and the points that um, people are, are getting as well. And how cute is this? It's like a little um, paper clip embellishment like those big bulldog clips and she's used holographic paper and she's made it into like a sequin shaker that is adorable love that and I've never received anything like this before it's also pretty she has been busy and then we have this cute little pink spoon And she's popped this gorgeous big dangle on it. I'm just hoping that my camera is focusing. Oh, there's even little sequin bits and pieces on there too. Look at that. So pretty. And then we have these. This is so cute. Actually, I think this may have come off of something, quite possibly. Um, 
I'm not too sure if she's just made me this fun embellishment or if it has yeah come off something because it's got the chain it's got the little clasp oh, wow there's a whole heap of bits and pieces here she has made me I don't even know where to start there's so much here <laughs> she's made me these cute little sunglasses And then these ones. Love the plaid. And these. So already there's another, there's a point for three embellishments because that's considered a set. Then we have this little goodie bag here of some pretty little die cuts in pink and gold. And then the little stars. So you can make little shaker star embellishments. Cute little packaging. Might just pop what I have seen back in this backpack just so I am aware of what I have shown you guys I can't believe how much she was able to fit in here and then she has created some more of these cute little Paper clip embellishments. I love how she's used the black on this one. With the black, the pink, the gold glitter and the white. So pretty. With that pink mylar acetate. And we have this little one here. Look at how tiny this is. She's made it into a little shaker. They are super cute. So we've got another set of embellishments there of the binder clips. So three of those. And then we have, oops. Um, it looks like she has die cut out some stars in foam. So then I can join my embellishments together. Or create my own. So we've got some hearts that she has die cut out. And they've got the adhesive on the back. And we have a couple of little stars. And then I can make some of my own embellishments using those other little bits and pieces. So she's basically made me like a little a little kit so I can create my own things. Being careful I don't want to wreck anything and then we have these cute embellishments here she has made a couple of little uh, ice creams and she's made them into shakers as well how pretty love the sequence inside that she's used as well the colors are gorgeous And then we have a, another one here. So I could decorate it myself. This is perfect actually. I can see myself sticking some of those fun um, polymer clay sprinkles on here. Or diamond dots that look really pretty onto those. So I'm probably going to be embellishing these up. So I love receiving stuff like that so you can play with it yourself and then she's added 
a pretty sequin mix. And some gems in there as well. Like, are they little like sparklets from um, Buttons Galore and more? And I love that little um, chipboard bow in there as well. That's cute. And then there was this cute little spool in there. That's adorable. I ended up buying um, some wooden spools like this myself to pop thread onto and, and decorate and make them look really cute. I love the patterned paper she has chose there. They're so cute. She has made me like a little kit for me to use all these fun bits and pieces. So thank you for that, Jill. I really appreciate it. And then we've got this adorable little book here and how gorgeous is this carousel paper so beautiful oh look at that it looks like it's a little embellishment book a little embellishment album and then i can decorate this as well so cute and i love that she's used the button for the enclosure that's adorable oh we're losing some bits Oh, that's so cute. Look at that. For Alicia. And she's got that on some fun acetate. Ooh, I believe this is fine and dandy. And then she's got all these little vellum pockets. And inside each one is a cute little embellishment I just got to be careful I don't want to wreck anything oh there's a couple in there oh I don't know how she fit them in such a tiny little book she's made a couple of those little um, star shakers very pretty And then we have, I love this, um, this idea of the vellum. It's so pretty. Oh. In this pocket here we have, oh, they're little tape dispensers. How cute. She has made a whole heap of little, yeah, I'll just take a few off so you can see well. The cute little tape dispensers. So she sent me a whole heap of those that I can embellish. Very cute. In this pocket here we have... Oh, some pretty bow washi. What a gorgeous colour. Matches my nails. So pretty. And then in here we have... Oh, looks like that's a... Oh, I see what she's done. She's added it. She's added this beautiful sequin mix. And then inside, oh, whoops. There's a whole heap of confetti, which is popping out the other end. <laughs> 
Now I know where all these bits were coming from. There's a whole heap of pretty little hearts that she has die cut out to create some confetti. Look at that, all in all heart colours. Just pop them there. And then, last page, we have these cute little, they're like tickets or tags, but they look like almost like the movie strip type. They're all different hearts. Sorry, it's not wanting to stay. How cute are they? I know that Jill has been hauling a whole heap of new dyes lately, so I'm guessing she's having fun playing with all her new dyes. And they're all dyes that I haven't seen before as well. I'll just get those out. And I will pop those back in soon. All right, now I'm just going to clear up some of this so I know these go in here. Then next we have a pretty tag flip by the looks of it. Let's see, she's got all kinds of fun bits and pieces on here. We have a pink bow, a pink album ring, one of those pretty little star clasps. Got this fun piece here that says party. Oh, I love how it's got that fun confetti look like um, vellum piece on the front there. We have another pretty little tassel and some gorgeous pink gingham ribbon. We have this tag here, it says Sunshine and Smiles, and then she's popped a camera piece on there. I haven't seen this piece before, so I'm not too sure what collection it comes from. A cute little butterfly. It's possible it might be Rosie's Studio. We then have... Oh, wow, look at this rainbow... Rainbow Vellum um, Shaker. How cute. I'm wondering if I have... Yeah, I'm pretty sure I have this around the right way. I think so. You can look at it like that. How fun. We have a pretty pink envelope. And she's made like a vellum window. So you can see what's inside. And I can see lots of cute little all heart um, cutter parts in here. Like the little Polaroid pieces. Just grab some to show you. So like these. Oh, she's made them into little cute embellishments. Look at that. They are so cute. Love that. There's a couple more in there, I believe. Oh, 
be you. They are so cute, Jill. Not sure. Oh, you're such a sook today, Bo. Pretty floral Polaroid. I can't even see the cat out there, Bo. I'm not sure what you're sooking at. We've got a big um, fishtail tag. Let's play. That's so cute. Loving all the pink. I mean, this is a pretty and pink birthday challenge after all, but <laughs> cute little chipboard tag she has added onto this one here. And the string, that's cute. And I can pretty much use all these pieces that she has popped in here because she has left a lot of them bare or kind of almost like what you call, you know, uh, a plain canvas or a minimum canvas. So I can, I can use all these pieces. How cute. She has used Dear Lizzie, She's Magic. And this is my favourite. Dear Lizzie collection, the She's Magic one. And there's, oh, how fun. How pretty does that look? Sorry, I'm getting distracted. Inside this little envelope, we have You Are Loved. Oh, that's so cute. And this pretty floral cut apart. love those i just love bits and pieces like this she has added the new damask love uh roller skate tag on there look at that so pretty i haven't even had a chance to play with this collection yet i have been that busy love that this is stunning Jill this tag here that she's done with Myla acetate look at that guys love her layering on this piece she's used some pink like ruffle chore oh sorry crepe paper pink ruffle crepe paper some beautiful star chore there's like a tag a floral piece from the ephemera there's also a vellum piece behind there as well some chipboard and it's all on like pink mylar look at that that is stunning i have this cute little um pocket here and she's used my favorite paper from garden party and inside she has gifted me oh there's quite a few bits and pieces in here so let's have a look i can feel something else Oh, and more. <laughs> so inside we have what looks like a couple of, um, was it main squeeze by crepe paper? A couple of pieces of the ephemera. Just because they are in pretty pink. And then a couple of gorgeous tags from Garden Party. And 
pen in here. Oh, we've got this cute one with the little girl and the boy. I believe from the Magical Forest chipboard. And then some Dear Lizzie. So cute. And then some um, cute little tags I can use. Oh, sorry, my hand looks weird there. Oh, how cute. Look at this with the Willow Lane. She has used some really pretty, kind of like a lilac and gold star velvety trim. And then she's used this fun Willow Lane chipboard piece here, which I love. It's so gorgeous. On a big, like, sculpt tag. How pretty. Thank you for that, Jill. What a fun tag flip. All kinds of bits and pieces in there. So, there's still more in the box, guys. I hope you guys have grabbed a drink or some food, because this one might be a long one. There's lots of pretties here to look at from Jill. So... What do we have next? Okay, so I'm just grabbing a bunch of things. Oh, this looks like it got a little bit crushed, unfortunately. But I can fix that. That is so cute. Look at this little bag. It's another little 3D project. That's adorable. Just move these to the side. Just don't want to get distracted. <laughs> Let's see what's in here. Sorry, I keep bumping the tripod as well. And how fun is this lightning bolt paper? I believe this is from the new Damask Love collection as well. Oh, wow. There are a whole heap of flower embellishments. Look at all of these. Oops. Look at all these fun flowers. How cute. I love that she's used a different variety of floral dyes. Gorgeous. Very bright colours. Fun for summer, which I can't wait for. It is so cold here, guys. Like, it's dropping below one. <laughs> at night it's it's just i hate the cold weather i cannot stand it i've been coming home from work and jumping straight into bed with an electric blanket and my heater on because i just i absolutely hate winter oh these look so cute love the packaging she has made another set of embellishments and they've they're kind of just like little laid up pieces of little like Cut aparts and tickets. And she must use the digital because these are super tiny unless she's used the six by six um, paper pad. So cute. Sorry if there's glare. She has made or die cut out um, some 
movie strips and ticket pieces. Oh, I've got like confetti everywhere. Some bit of a confetti piece and some all heart in there. Some, oh, these are cute. Look at these little lock, heart lock um, embellishments. And some words. Oh, these are cute, Shell. They're so cute. <laughs> She's made a little roller skate embellishment on those like ruffle, um, ruffle strip and embellies, paper strips. Hope there's not too much glare, and you guys can see. How gorgeous is the little car from Sunny Days? Then we got the thumbs up from Dear Lizzie. How oh, cute. Um, trying to find room <laughs> then it looks like she has gifted me a pack of market square ephemera by maggie holmes thank you for that i'm still yet to play more with this um this collection oh i found a chopper chop in the box a mini chopper chop that's cute it's um i believe it's a strawberry strawberries and cream oh i found another chopper chop and this one is just strawberry found a couple of little uh, embellishment packs oh they're pretty it looks oh how gorgeous all right I'll start with this one so these look like she, it looks like she's made her own little like brads or brad embellishments just Aren't they cute? Look at this beautiful floral one. Yep, brads. Different variety of brads. It's fate. And then there were these cute little butterfly embellishments. And they're so tiny. How cute. Uh, I'll just move some of these because there is more in the box that I would like to share with you guys. I'm just going to put, I think, the lollipops in here as well for now. Oh, so many things. Oh, my tea's going cold. I'm going to have to reheat it. <laughs> We've got something in here, which is quite big. And then the rest is just um, tissue paper. Oh, wow. Oh, my gosh. So many 3D projects. How beautiful is this? 
and then I have found another lollipop hiding in there. How stunning. This is so pretty, Jill. She has made a sequin shaker on the front. She's used tulle, acetate pieces, ephemera, chipboard. It's so pretty. And I love that she's um, used this beautiful marigold paper, which I love. It's like a big, sturdy, solid book. She's used that pretty star acetate um, to create the shaker there in the background. This cute Willow Lane chipboard with a unicorn. How pretty. Sorry guys, I keep bumping. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, wow. Made by Jill Ives. Oh my gosh. It's one of these really cool, like, book boxes. What is in here? Oh my gosh. <gasps> this is so cute. How adorable. I love this pink chawl. I'm not sure which way this goes, but it's cute. Oh, it's like a little, um, what do you call it? like a little journal that I can use so I can add little like photos and bits and pieces in here see I could use it as an address book I could use it to um, pop memories in little photo album how cute. Gorgeous all heart. I have never received anything like this. It looks like a taco to me and I love tacos. <laughs> I love Mexican food. That's so cute. Thank you for that. I'm going to have fun adding my own bits and pieces into it. And then we have another gorgeous sequin mix. Those pretty colours. And oh, some cute little envelopes that she has done for me so I can decorate in pink and holographic. Wow, so many goodies. This was so fun. Thank you so much, Jill, for entering. Um, I believe, just from what I'm seeing here, that you have earned yourself quite a few points. So I will pop them into my uh, diary and, um, yeah, calculate it all up. There's quite a few 3D projects here. So, um yeah you're gonna have a good chance <laughs> so thank you jill thank you guys for watching like i said if you still have um you still have a month to 
enter this pretty in pink birthday challenge I'll leave the link down below I'm also going to leave the link of Jill's YouTube channel down below for you guys to go check her out and thanks for watching guys I'll catch you on the next one take care bye